Welcome back. Tributes have been paid following the sudden death of Tipperary senior hurler Dylan Quirk, who collapsed while playing for his club at Semple Stadium last night. President Michael D. Higgins and Taoiseach Michal Martin extended their sympathies to the 24-year-old's family. All hurling championship games in the county have been postponed this weekend as a mark of respect to the young hurler, who was regarded as a rising star of the Tipperary team. Well, let's uh, speak now to our Gaelic Games correspondent, Marty Morrissey, who joins us now from Semple Stadium. And uh, Marty, how have people been reacting to this uh, awfully sad news throughout the day? To be honest with you, there is a, 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 an air of sadness uh, that, that the area of Clonauty Ross Moore and Tipperary is enveloped in heartbreak, to be honest with you, because here's a young man, 24 years of age, a Tipperary star, and now uh, established himself on the Tipperary Senior Hurling Team during the Munster Championship, scored a memorable point against Cork, had a great hook uh, against Limerick in the All-Ireland uh, in the Munster Championship, and uh, certainly was a man who had uh, produced winning performances, uh, winning All-Ireland minors uh, in 2016. A hearty cup with Thurlis CBS, just down the road from us here, and All-Ireland minor in 2016, and in under 21 in 2018. But he loved his club, Clonalty Ross Moore. He was captain this year. He was part of the uh, Clonalty Ross Moore team that won the Tipperary Senior Championship after a long gap back in 2018. And like all clubs, like all communities in Ireland, there is a close-knit uh, group, of course. And his uncle-in-law is the legendary Declan Ryan, who was the manager of Clonalty Ross Moore last night. And the chairman of the club, uh, Andrew Friday, also happens to be his uncle. And earlier today in Clonauty Rossmore, Andrew Friday, the chairman and uncle of Dylan Quirk, paid tribute to his nephew. He was the, the shining star in, in her club, like um, I've come on there for numbers of years as a juvenile and as a young man and just making his breakthrough at senior level this year, um, where he played wing back uh, for, for Tipperary and the seniors and um, done it in style. Um, like he was doing um, last night before this thing happened. He was hurling the game of his life, um, had scored a lovely point and set up a lovely goal and an inspirational captain for, for our, our, our team. A lovely uncle indeed and a brave man who wanted to pay tribute to his uh, nephew uh, today. Well, there is an air of sadness around Thurlis, around every part of Tipperary, Nina, Ross Gray, everywhere you go, the talk is about Dylan Quirk. And I'm joined by a former Tipperary star, Brendan Cummins. Brendan, can you encapsulate what happened here last night and the impact that it has and the huge, sad and heartbreaking loss of Dylan Quirk? Yeah, it's been a, a huge shock, Martin. Like when we've seen Dylan playing those four championship matches this year, big, strong, athletic passion of Clonolty Ross more flowing through him. Exactly what Liam Cow would have seen as one of the leaders that he was going to build his championship team around next year. And winning and losing in sports a big thing for all of us, right? Especially obviously in the GA. But when news broke last night of the tragedy happened here in the stadium, we're all absolutely heartbroken for Dan and for Hazel, his sisters, and the whole community, his, his teammates. It's just shocking stuff, Marty, and it's, it really is heartbreaking for all of us in, in the Tiberi community. And, and I suppose that the tributes that have been given um, from the, the president, from the Taoiseach, I mean, it just shows that everybody's heartbroken for the family, and our thoughts and prayers are absolutely with them. And it's not just Tipperary, it's the GA family nationwide, indeed, as the president of Taoiseach uh, emphasised that. But Dylan Quirk, let's talk about Dylan Quirk, because all I hear, uh, his, his uncle said he had his mother's charm and his father's roguery, which I thought was a lovely, lovely line, uh, which I'm, we will show later on. But the reality is that Dylan Quirk was just a wonderful hurler who just loved hurling. He loved the field of dreams, the field of legends. He loved the, the game. He did, and it's just that passion that he had. And in Tipperary, when we were supporters, we saw Dylan growing up, we saw him playing with the, with the club underage, we saw him bringing success, that minor under-21 success you touched on. We're all saying yes, and then Liam gave him a, the spin out in, in January 2020 to get his wear the blue and gold at, at senior level. And, you know, and we all said, here's hope. And then this year, obviously, he was a shining light in what was a disappointing year for Tipperary, but we all said, look, he's one of the guys now, he's learned a lot from this year to next year. And, to have that all taken away from Marty just adds to the, to the sadness of, of, of all the we've, that we've had over the last 24 hours here in Tipperary. Well, thank you so much, uh, Brendan Cummins, for joining us. It's a sad day, a sad weekend here in Tipperary Hurling, and we pass on our deepest sympathies to the family of Dylan Quirk, his extended family, and indeed the, the GA family here in Tipperary. Back to you. Yes, indeed, Marty, thank you.